Hello everyone, thank you for visiting firegroundaudio.com. The following video will be a tutorial on how to download and install the TeamSpeak 2 server in order to listen to firegroundaudio.com's live fire radio feeds. So the first step is to go to firegroundaudio.com then on the bottom right click the TeamSpeak logo And that will take you to the download page. So if you're running on the Windows machine, you want to choose the first option to download the TeamSpeak 2 client. And the link is all the way over here to the right. So you just hit the download button. Of course, you have to accept the license agreement. So scroll all the way down. And hit I agree. And then, of course, your web browser will ask you to save the file. So you just click Save File. and the file will download. Of course I'm using Mozilla Firefox um, it, it will look slightly differently on other browsers. And the download is finished so you just click open and the install process should begin. So the first box you will see will verify that you do indeed want to install the TeamSpeak 2 client. So you just hit yes to continue. Go through the install wizard, hitting next, accepting the license agreement and the next window will tell you where the program will install to by default program files backslash teamspeak2 underscore rc2 should suffice the program requires just a mere 7.8 megabytes of disk space so even if you're running a little low on hard drive space chances are you'll have enough to run the teamspeak client hit next the next window will ask you um, if you want to create a shortcut on the start menu. If you don't want to create one, you just click don't create a start menu folder. So we'll hit next. Create a desktop icon. If you don't want one, unselect create desktop icon. Hit next. And the install process will begin. You'll see the TeamSpeak 2 icon on your desktop. And the next window of pop up will be the codec installer, which installs certain codecs um, that you'll need to listen to certain audio formats that are broadcast over TeamSpeak. So you just hit next. And next again. And after the installation is successful, you hit finish. And finally, you can make sure that launch TeamSpeak is checked when you hit finish. and your TeamSpeak 2 client window will appear. So your first step is to go to the connection menu and select connect. This will be the first window to pop up. So under servers, you right mouse click, add server. 
you can call that server FGA or firegroundaudio.com or whatever is easiest for you. Then after you're finished naming it, left mouse click on the blank space and you should see these text boxes. Now the server address you want to input firegroundaudio.no-ip.info colon 8767 Now in order to register please send an, an email to webmaster at firegroundaudio.com please provide a password when you do so so that I can register you in order to listen to the live fire audio feeds but since I'm already registered you want to make sure that the register radio button is checked off. Enter your login name, which will be your email address, but in my case it's FGA01, and your password that you provided to me upon your request to register. And if you want, you can include a default channel just include the feed number so I'll go to FEED1 so finally you choose a nickname for yourself make sure the register radio button is selected and hit connect link engaged now in order to select a feed you just double click on the feed that you want to listen to. Switch notice, to channel. notice by default that I was logged on to feed one. Now to talk to every player in the chat room, you just simply right mouse click on the lower window here and select send text message to all. And you can type this is a test message or whatever and hit OK if you want to send a message to a specific channel you just right mouse click on that channel and select send text message to player again that dialog box will pop up and you can send your message and hit OK And that basically summarizes the features of TeamSpeak 2. If you have any other further questions regarding TeamSpeak 2 or the firegroundaudio.com live fire radio feeds, please send a message to webmaster at firegroundaudio.com. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.